guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome please make yourself at home and while you're at it go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down there and click the bell button so you'll get notified every time I upload anyways jumping straight on in those of you that's been here for a while you guys know that back in October I had eye surgery um, my retina detached and I had to go in and get what they call a scleral buckle put all the way around my eyeball Oh, and a little disclaimer, if you hear Disney Channel or Chaos in the background, please don't mind it. I have a toddler, that is all. <laughs> anyway, if you have not seen it, then I do have a video kind of documenting that process. I shared me kind of preparing for surgery, uh, the day of surgery, and I believe the day after as well. And because of that video, that is leading me to make this one right here. So that video currently has over 1,600 views right now, which is shocking to me because I didn't expect a lot of people to really care about that video. But what I have gotten is actually the complete opposite. And I've had so many people come to me and say that this is happening to them or they're having to get this surgery and they kind of want to know more about what went on with me and so on and so forth and we've kind of conversed back and forth and I've, I've really connected with a bunch of people that this has happened to and it's really interesting to me and after that video I did put up like one or two more videos after that like a two weeks um, post-op and like unexpected doctor visit or something something like that I think there's like two other videos after that surgery about my eye like as far as an eye update goes but since then I haven't really said anything to you guys about it. I mean, I may have mentioned it here or there, or if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably heard me talk about it, or my annoyance with it, rather. But it's come to my attention that I should probably do another update, simply for the fact that, like I said, I've had so many people um, reach out to me and watch that video, and I know that there's so many others that haven't watched it yet that in the future will. And those people may want to know how I'm doing now that I am four months post-op. That is right, four months. I had my surgery on October 22nd of last year, 2018. And it is now February 20 something, uh, 2019. So it's been about four months. And uh, yeah, here we are. Okay, so for starters, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys what my eye looks like now. So viewing discretion is advised. If like looking at stuff up close, like bodily parts and stuff like that makes you kind of icky, then please just skip on a little bit or whatever because I am gonna show my eyeball up close for you guys. And I will also compare it to how it used to look which was um, way nastier than it is now so beware yeah you were warned now I'm about to take off the glasses and again this is really not bad so here's what my eye looks like now kind of far off as you guys can tell most of the white has come back in my eye um, but there are a few places like on my inner corner I don't even know if you guys can see this and I won't know until I edit it back but um there and also kind of like in this corner as well so basically like my very inner corner and outer corner and above here which you guys can't see under the lid yeah that is what still has a little bit of redness and it's not like really red red it's kind of like a really light pink so it has faded a lot and if you've seen my other videos about my eye then you know if not I will go ahead and pop a picture up right here um, of how my eye used to look like right after surgery and um, in the beginning stages of that. So yeah, I've um, definitely come a long way, if I must say so myself. And I will get a little closer for you guys um, of my eye now. Just so you can see, you see the inner corner there, I hope. It's real red, well, pink, but whatever definitely come a long way <laughs> moving on to the whole healing process as a whole wow just to sum everything up it has been one whoo of a four months i'm just gonna say that like it's y'all <laughs> I have had such a long healing journey it's been crazy um i now know why and we will get into that in a minute but when i was going through this like it was my own like little personal hell on earth that i was going through like i'm not even kidding you <laughs> It was awful. If you just had this surgery done or you're happy to have the surgery done, don't let that stretch you out because I'm gonna get into why I had such a long healing journey, I believe, um, and so it could help you guys out to not make the same mistakes. So don't worry, because hopefully with my story, you'll be able to save yourself. So anyway, yeah, I had such a long healing journey. Like my first week after surgery was good. You know, it was like any other normal person who comes out of eye surgery. But then somewhere around like week and a half to two, week mark i started developing this really bad migraine only on my left side which is the eye that i had done and like it wouldn't go away no matter what i did no matter how much pain medication i took no matter no nothing would help it go away and my eye would swell and it was the most 
awful pain I have ever been in in my life, okay? And I've had kids, okay? I got tattoos. It was awful. <laughs> and again, I don't want to go into too, too much detail about all of that because most of that has been documented either in my surgery video or in my other two videos um, after that. Kind of me kind of telling you guys where I was, um, the pain that I've been having, stuff that the doctors were saying, the drops that I was on, all of that. But just know from the one and a half to two week mark all the way up until the about two month mark or two and a half month mark, I was dealing with this awful severe pain and swelling and also elevated eye pressure. The pressure in my eye got up to a 40 and stayed elevated for a long time, which is not good by any, any, any means because when your eye pressure is up too high for too long, it could really start to damage your optic nerve, which is just Okay, not good. So yeah, extreme pain, swelling, and elevated eye pressure for basically two and a half months straight. And we did not know why. We kept switching around my drops. Also, just in case you guys didn't know, I was being seen by two doctors. I have a my regular eye doctor, and then I had a retina specialist. So yes, I'm going back and forth between these two doctors and just kind of getting two opinions and seeing what is going on. They're both monitoring me. And we kind of just kept switching around the drops. I'm like, I put on eye pressure drops to keep my pressure down, which did help. The pressure drops got my pressure down, but it only really went down to like the 30s, um, which is still pretty high. And you guys can see from my other videos, like the swelling. I know you can't really see my pain, but just know I was in a lot of it, okay? If you guys have seen any of my other videos um, in between October through December, you guys could probably see how bad my eye was swollen. And you guys didn't even really see the worst of it. I know I took pictures, so if I can find them, I'll pop up a couple pictures here but my eye would just swell it was awful we had no idea why this was happening why I was going through this keep in mind the normal healing process will average healing process after this surgery is about two to four weeks I mean at least for the like the majority of the healing and stuff like that but here I am at the time two and a half months post-op and still dealing with all this redness, all this pain, all this swelling, my eye pressure's up, what is going on? Well, my friends, after many doctor's appointments back and forth between both doctors and I can't even tell you how many drops I had to keep switching around, add this one to it, take this one away, up this one, lower this one, like, long story short, Come to find out it was my steroid drop so after you had this surgery the first drops you get put on are an antibiotic a steroid and a dilation drop so steroid drops and any kind of steroid you know it's good to help you build stuff back up and all that but you don't want to be on any kind of steroid for too long because then it's not good and you get a whole other wave of problems especially when it comes to the eye and steroid eye drops just no bueno and I've read that you really don't want to be on steroid drops for longer than two weeks so when I first had my surgery I was on my steroid drop four times a day which is normal okay but that four times a day lasted for about two months surgery is in October it wasn't until December that we started like okay we're gonna start slowly taking you off the steroids now had I known that it was the steroid drops themselves before time I would have took myself off of them way back when but I wasn't sure you know this is the first time I ever had went through this and it's also the first time that my doctor like ever had a case like this well I don't want to say never he didn't really say but maybe it was the first time that he's had a patient in a while that has had this crazy of an experience or whatever child so anyways I started diminishing them and by the time I got down to where I was off of them it was like instantly everything was over no more pain no more swelling and I go to another follow-up appointment and my eye pressure was a 15 from 40 to 15 and it was like all my problems just went away just like that just by coming off the steroid drop so again if you just had the surgery or you're getting it done don't worry you do need your steroid like right after surgery you do need it but after that like two week mark if your doctor hasn't taken you off of it now I'm not no doctor so Please, I'm not a doctor by any means. Obviously, you want to consult with him and do what you feel is right. But I'm just sharing my experience and what happened with me. So, what I recommend is if after that two-week mark, if you're not off of those steroid drops and you start noticing some changes like some pain, swelling, pressures up, all of that, then talk to them and, and really consider coming off of them because, again, they're great at first, but not so great for prolonged use. That's not what they're for. Steroids are supposed to be used for, like, a short amount of time to, you know, fix something and move on from it. You don't want to be on, on them for a long 
period of time and I was and that is where all my problems were so there's that and here we are now the end of February four months post-op so now the question becomes where am I at in life right now in this very moment at this point so still haven't done makeup well not a full face now if you follow me on instagram you know that i have been playing with makeup over there done waiting i couldn't take it anymore so i've been doing looks that only required me to do one side of my face still have not worked out at all <laughs> y'all know fitness is just as much a part of my life as uh, makeup is and it's been killing me just as much not to work out as it has been not being able to do makeup and i still haven't driven so I haven't drove. Maybe you know, or if you don't know, when you get a surgery like this done, it alters the prescription in your eye. And not in a good way. It actually makes your know, vision in whatever eye you get done worse because it changes the shape of the eye and it really kind of just, yeah. So it makes your prescription worse as if my prescription wasn't hearty bad enough with that being said obviously these are the glasses that i had before my surgeries pretty sure you guys can put two and two together if not that means these glasses are no longer good for me they no longer do me any justice well at least in this side anyways you know i can still see out of this eye but out of this side it's still a little blurry if you wear contacts and glasses you know how this is so imagine you are wearing your glasses and one of the lenses is popped out so you're walking around with a lens and without a lens kind of like like that's the best way i can describe it that's basically my current situation and i just don't feel comfortable driving like that right now I, i'm waiting till i get my new glasses that way i can at least have vision um, on both sides and be able to see so speaking of new glasses let's go ahead and kind of transition into that and talk about my most recent eye appointment which was last week sometime so the time leading up to this last appointment you know i had like i said i had got off my steroids all of that jazz and i was healing i'm much better no more pain nothing right and up until about a week or two ago everything was fine you know i was continuing to heal by not having any more pain swelling none of that again the only problem that i had been dealing with was the slight redness in the inner and outer corners of my eye but up until about a week or two ago I go in the mirror and you know I check my inner corner and then I pull my lid up like I always do and I notice something a little different and I'm like well, okay that is that is not normal that's that has not always been there what is that it looks like a little line kind of like in my eye and like a little bump is what it looks like I don't technically know if it's a bump but it, that's what it looks like and I'm gonna try to show you guys I don't there's no guarantees that you'll be able to see it but I'm gonna try my best so here we go I'm gonna get as close as I can and I can't see a thing so I hope that this is not blurry right now so I'm gonna look down and yeah again i can't see what i'm doing but hopefully you guys can see i don't know it just looks like something that should not be there i don't know hopefully you guys can see that if you did see it that right there had not always been there um and i just noticed it about like a week or two ago there's really no pain or anything like that i don't really feel it per se every now and again it may feel like there's something in my eye like you know how it feels like if you just have something in your eye period it's kind of what it feels like sometimes not all the time because 90 percent of the time i don't even feel it because like i said i didn't even know it was there that's why i wasn't too concerned but at the same time like that don't look cute and that wasn't there so i am concerned so i don't know i'm gonna ask my doctor and hope that hope that all is well because finally got to the point where i was like yes it's almost over and then something else appears i'm like so just to cut all the crap out what my daughter said was that is probably something i should ask my retina specialist about considering the surgery and all of that and it could possibly be like the buckle pushing through like I said I had to get a buckle put all the way around my eye I don't know I'm just confused I don't know he said that he wouldn't worry about it too much because again there's really no there's no pain I'm not having any like any kind of crazy symptoms or anything crazy happening with my body but he told me to definitely you know check my retina specialist so that's what I'm gonna do so as of right now I don't know what that is but I did want to throw it in here for you guys just just because but when I find out I will definitely let you guys know so with that aside he did go ahead and test me for new glasses and let me tell you my prescription <laughs> it's awful okay your girl's like blind <laughs> like honestly it's like 
a little embarrassing what my prescription is but I'm gonna let you guys know okay so if you don't know um, your prescription for glasses and contacts are different simply because you know your glasses they sit up off of your face you know you don't really have as good as a peripheral vision as you do with contacts um your your glasses prescription is always going to be um higher than your contacts one before surgery in contacts i was a negative six negative 650 okay which is already like unbelievable and in glasses which these right here honestly i don't even know exactly what these are but i know it's a negative seven and like 775 or something crazy like that it's in the, it's in the negative sevens now at this um last appointment a couple days ago now this was glasses only okay because insurance won't cover contacts because they consider them cosmetic First of all, rude, because it's not at all. I, I would love to not have any of it, honestly. But anyways, that's a whole nother story. So, don't know what my contacts prescription will be. It'll obviously be a little less, I'm hoping, than what I'm about to tell you, but we'll put that on pause for now. So for my glasses, my glasses prescription, this eye right here, y'all, I'm embarrassed. It's a negative 10. And I don't even know if it's like on the dot. Like it could be negative 10 something, I don't, because I, I don't remember. I don't remember but all I know is the main number is negative 10 like what in glasses I went from a negative seven something to a negative 10 because of this surgery Are you serious? Are you serious? <sighs> breathe y'all when I say my vision sucks I mean that sh okay <sighs> I'm stressed <laughs> No, but seriously like that is that is awful y'all don't judge me don't make fun of me okay don't just pray for me okay and send me your thoughts and prayers and love okay because i need it i'm going through a lot eight of ten guys which means them uh <laughs> them glasses gonna be a little thick because you know the higher the prescription the thicker the lens honey <laughs> Woo! I ain't, boy look i'm already ready to get my contacts i'm done <laughs> Nah, but anyways, obviously I don't have the new glasses yet. With any kind of glasses, they take time. You don't get them same day. And with my prescription, <laughs> might take a little longer. So it's probably going to be in about another two to three weeks, honestly, before I get my new glasses. Somewhere around there. Um, at least that's the time frame that they gave me. I will show you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And I want to say that's pretty much it. Oh wait, I saved the best part for last. As I was getting ready to leave that appointment, I'm like, wait a minute, let me just see. Your doc, what's the tea on me like, you know, doing makeup again and like working out again and like all that fun stuff. <laughs> Didn't quite say it like this, but you know, you get the point. You know what he said to me, guys? He's like, you know, at this point, since you don't, you're not really having any pain or swelling or anything like that, I don't see the problem in you going forth with that. Y'all, at that point, I didn't even care about how high my prescription was. You mean to tell me I can do makeup again, like all over, like eyeshadow? <laughs> Praise Jesus. You guys are probably wondering, well, Bria, if he told you that you can wear makeup again, why are you sitting here like this with no makeup? Well, since I have a couple reasons. First reason being is I need some contacts. I mean, I can do makeup with my glasses, but it ain't the same. Like, you know, no, I need to be able to retire these for a little bit. <laughs> Okay. put some balm eyeshadow on some lashes the whole vibe and live my best life but besides that that's the main thing but also half of me wants to go see my retina specialist first to check up on what this extra stuff is going on in my eye like, what's that all about because I don't know what that is like I don't want to further irritate that you know what I mean so even though I'm like beyond anxious to get back to doing what I want to do while I'm already still down and out so to speak like I might as well just keep the training going and make sure that I'm really ready to come back. So I don't know. I'm kind of just thinking out loud and letting you guys know what I've been told and where my headspace is at currently. So yeah, that's pretty much it as far as my like retina journey. Well, no, you know, I'm not going to say that's it. I'm not going to say that's it. Because you know why? I believe I mentioned this in my first retina video, my surgery video. <sighs> When I first found out that I had the detachment in this eye, obviously he checked both eyes and he said that I had a couple weak spots in this eye. No holes or detachments yet, but a few weak spots. So he wanted to go in and laser those spots in this eye so that way a detachment doesn't happen and I don't have to go through what I went through in this eye. 
over here so I actually I still have that in my near future I don't know when he wants to do that obviously he was waiting till this eye completely healed um, before he even messed with this eye because I had a lot going on um, but now that this is pretty much over besides whatever that's in there now the whole laser and stuff might be coming up soon I don't know again I have to make my appointment with him and you know talk to him about it and see what the plans are but don't worry like I said I will keep you guys updated for those of you that are interested or that have been following my retina journey and when the time comes to get the laser in my eye I'll film that as well so yeah just stay tuned all together okay whether you're here interested in my retina journey stay tuned because there's more or if you were one of the OGs and you've been here or you're just interested in me getting back to my makeup and beauty and all that stuff then still stay tuned because that stuff <laughs> is coming okay and even like fitness stuff because whenever I'm able to start working out again y'all the fitness videos are coming as well so if you're on a fitness journey or interested in my fitness journey all of that stuff that's coming too okay I'm about to be back doing me fully and uh with all that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here i'm sure this is way longer than what i wanted it to be but i just can't help myself i ramble i talk too much i get excited and it just happens i'm sorry okay i'm sorry but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope those of you that have been following my eye surgery journey and all that i hope that you have found these interesting or helpful helpful really because that's what i'm aiming for i hope you guys could take something out of these videos because that's what matters most as always i want to thank you guys for watching this video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you're not already hit that notification bell and follow me over on the gram okay because i be doing makeup looks over there that don't make it to the tube yet and whenever i'm able to retire the glasses and bring the contacts back oh it is on and popping over on the gram okay so go ahead and give me a follow and yeah i'm done i swear i'm done y'all i'm done again thank you so much for watching i love you all and i will see ya in the next one